Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode. Today we are talking about the blues. I mean, everyone loves the blues, right? It's probably why you clicked on this video. Today I want to share with you three super tasty blues licks that are definitely going to elevate your playing. Now before I show you these licks, if you haven't already, do consider subscribing to the channel. I'll wait, just go and, go and click that little, that little subscribe button. So, enough talking, let's have a closer look at the fretboard and take a listen at these three licks. So guys, let's get started. First of all, I'll just let you know that I'm playing this in the key of C, but it translates to any other key that you might want to play. So I'll first just start by outlining the chords. So as we're in the key of C, it's going to be a 1-4-5 progression. So the first chord, which is the 1, is going to be C. The four chord will be F7, and then your five will be G7. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you three licks, and we're basically going to use one lick for each chord. And the beauty of these licks is that they are what I would class as more sophisticated. And by that, I mean they basically highlight the chords that they are played over. All of my favourite blues guitarists do this really well. Think Josh Smith, Matt Schofield, Kirk Fletcher. And all of these types of players will have played some of these licks at some point. So let's start with lick number one. And this is what we're going to play over C, over the one chord. So I'll just start by playing the lick at full speed. One more time. And now I'll just slow it down a little bit. And now let's hear it in the context of a solo. Next we're going to look at the 4 chord, which was F7. And this lick is basically just going to outline that F7 chord. So let's play it at full speed first and then I'll slow it down for you. One more time. And now a little bit slower. So the key part of this particular lick is the semitone slide from your F sharp down to your F because that's what highlights and starts out this lick to outline that chord. And then you're basically following a diminished chord to give you that level of sophistication in the lick itself. So let's hear that in the context of a blues solo. Finally, we're going to move over to the 5 chord, which was G7. And we're going to play a lick that I unapologetically stole from Kirk Fletcher. It has a real harmonica player quality to it, which is a really interesting sound when you transfer it to the guitar. So this lick you would play over a 5 chord. So I'll play it at full speed first. One more time. And now a little bit slower. So it starts off in a normal C minor pentatonic scale, which we're probably all familiar with. So that first part is just straight out of the pentatonic. And then you've got this little hammer on section, which is from fret 10 to fret 13. 
So that's the real part to get right. It takes a bit of practice, but it's a really fun one. Let's hear this in the context of a solo. <laughs> So I hope you enjoyed that guys, I'm really looking forward to seeing how you incorporate these licks into your own playing. So if you don't follow me on Instagram, I'll put the handle up here somewhere, but tag me in your posts if you do post a solo using these licks. I would love to see how you incorporate them. As always, thank you so much for watching this episode, it really does mean a lot, I'm having so much fun making these videos, and I will see you tomorrow for another one.